Welcome to our video market overview where we look at the futures market from a volumetric and technical analysis perspective, focusing on market news, economic data. In this review, we will look at the gold futures contract. Ticker, GC, Exchange, COMEX. Let's highlight important volumetric support and resistance levels. Economic calendar and news. Over the past two weeks, all key central banks have raised interest rates except the Fed Reserve. The Bank of England raised the interest rate to the USA rate contrary to analysts' expectations. High interest rates are making unprofitable gold less attractive, but worries about instability in Russia are keeping the gold price just below $2,000 per troy ounce. Technical and volume analysis. On the profile chart, time frame, day. You are looking at the chart of the COMEX Gold Futures contract from the 24th of February this year. This is the first day of the uptrend, which ended on April 13th. It was from this day that the uptrend started from 1810. Note the total volume histogram for the day. The trading volume was above 200,000 contracts throughout the trend. The histogram is in light gray. The total trading volume of the first wave of the uptrend was 3.2 million contracts. The average volume from March 9th to 24 was 290,000 contracts. In normal trading sessions, total volume does not exceed 150,000. They are dark gray on the bar chart. How were the 3.2 million contracts in the price range 1816 to 2014 allocated? At which prices did the big traders make more trades? While you do your calculations, I'm going to run a little ahead and share some calculations and data. The gold chart from March 9th to 24 is the first phase of an upward trend. 1908 to 1930 is the main support range worth highlighting and the next trading sessions will come in handy for you. The trading volume of support range A is 651,000 contracts. Support B, total trading volume of the range 1970 to 1996 is also 651,000 contracts. Support B performed well until the beginning of May, but the sellers were able to sell the price outside the buyer's support range. Bottom line, now all eyes are on the support A level. The buyers have been trying to keep the price below the range for six days, but this cannot last. The trading volume of these six days is at an average level. Hence, the key battle is yet to come. The resistance level was formed at the beginning of May, the range 2026 to 2046. Take into account that the current price is below the VWAP indicator, which is $1970 per troy ounce. Thank you for watching, discuss and ask questions in the comments to this video. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and share this video with your friends on Facebook.